very grey. Oh, it's very beautiful cloud. <laughs> it's quite high high altitude clouds this morning. <laughs> they're, they're very high. So where are we going? It's a bit back. Finally. <laughs> and we are on Long Row Road. Yes, we're walking down Long Row towards Springbank. We just passed the Caden Head Shop on the corner, which we'll uh, return to when it opens at 10. <laughs> we're not missing that, are we? You know where we are? Hi there, good morning. Hello. We do, for those that drink Springbank, make a local barley from time to time, you know that. Um, we would love to use more of it, but it would just take one wet summer and a crop failure here would be catastrophic for the local community and also for ourselves. So that's why we only take the local crop when it's of a good enough quality and we're ready to take it. Other than that, it's good from the East Coast. If you have a look at it, this is pretty, pretty fresh, it's just gone down. You'll see at one end, the roots are beginning to come out. A little bit, yeah. That's, then it's called the chicks. The chicks are beginning to come out. And after a couple more days of this, if we left the floor unattended, mm. they would all start to dig together and it would form a massive carpet and we wouldn't be able to lift it. So we have to keep turning the floors over every four hours. We have oh, two yeah. methods in which we do this. The first I'm just about to demonstrate. Well, actually, what are you doing? I'm going to demonstrate. Okay. <laughs> right, just pull, just pull, and just pull. So, as you can see, the lady is demonstrating. She does very well. She's got a job on Monday. So she's <laughs> lifting it up and she's separating it out. Uh, scraping along the floor and it's lifting everything off the floor up and pushing it away because what <laughs> happens is underneath this is just like a continental quilt it's cool to the top and it says okay it's over madam we'll get a job <laughs> <laughs> one four hours it'll be done with the grubber next four hours it'll be done with the turner and that's what we do this was last done around eight or nine o'clock this morning and you can tell by the way that it looks like a beach it was done by this mm. machine ah uh. And there it is, look, little Springbank local barley's in there. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Whiskey Mystery. I'm Phil. I'm Viva. Going to carefully put my little Springbank barley's back in their case. How's everyone doing? This is a very exciting lineup for us. I actually feel like it's, it's been a, it's actually about two years since we started Whiskey with Ardmore Legacy. And I feel like it's been two years to get to this point because the first year was just getting to the point of understanding why Springbank local barley might be good. And then it's taken another full year to actually get them all together. Especially this last one, if you remember all of that nonsense with the Blantons and, you know, all of that. Anyway, how's everybody doing? Hope you're all well. It's not just Springbank though, is it, that has local barley? We've got two Brook Laddies. We have the bear barley and our favorite, which is normally up here, but it's down on the table today. And I, uh, this is optic barley. Actually, we're gonna talk about barley. Why not do a little bit of barley science for a moment? <laughs> It'll be very short, I promise. Barley. We have got two types of barley used in whiskey, uh, two row barley and six row barley. And pretty much all the modern barleys are two row because they are higher in sugar, so you get a higher yield. And the old ones, the ancient barleys like bear barley, are high in protein, so they're low in sugar and they are um, lower yielding. And I think in general, more difficult to deal with. Let's see. And what bottles do we have? Let's go over to our little bottle fact sheet. So you can see the barley types. The Springbank 16 is Prisma. I know nothing about it. Bear barley in the 11 year old. Belgravia for the first 10 year old. And then the last two, the nine and the 10 are both from Optic, presumably the same spirit, but the 10 has just been aged longer and has a tiny little bit of port in there. Look, ABV's all high. Um, and the Brook Laddies, uh, thanks to Raymaster, I found out that uh, the Isla Barley 07 is optic as well. And of course, Bear Barley is Bear Barley. And they're at 50% and 100% bourbon. The only Springbank without any sherry or anything else is the Bear Barley, interestingly enough. Now, there's gonna be a ton of chat in the, uh, in the chat 
going on and it's going to be hard for me to keep up today so I will drop in at some point when I can clear my head because there's a lot of logistics. It's an anniversary today. Do you know what it is? What? There's an anniversary oh. today. Uh, no, no. No, not our anniversary. <laughs> Your anniversary. Let me just remind you. Run, people, run! Yeah, it is Deepa's anniversary of winning the Isla Marathon. And we are sadly not there this year. We should we should be there at this time. It because it was Sunday, the first week. It actually would be the tomorrow, I think. Tim Donner Pass, thanks for reminding me of that. Oh, Isla Marathon. We'll put it up there in Deepa's honor. Right, I need a drink already. Let me jump into the chat and say hello to a few people. Have some water from your spring bank glass. Ah, oh, I love free water. Oh, there's tons of people in. That's good. Has anyone asked us anything or pointed out any mistakes yet? No. Okay, I'm just going to look out for orange tags. Uh, September eighth. You are right, Tim. But it was a Sunday, so we're taking the day. Uh, sadly, we couldn't even run this morning. We went out, we ran a mile up the road, turned around, came back because it was uh, it was too dusty. Seven whiskeys. We're going to get down to business. We have been practicing. We have tasted them all, blind of course, and we have made our notes. And as usual, we've come up with some stupid names. And so we're roughly <laughs> we're roughly in a very grassy world with all of these, but. Bright barley bacon, for example, has a little bit of beef jerky bacon about it. Or let's say grass smoked toothpaste has a little bit of green grass barley and menthol. So we've made a couple of basic notes. And I thought, where's my clear? I thought it would be fun to just bring them in one at a time. And seeing as we're going to do that, Deepa has control of them all over there. They've been sitting airing for an hour. Why don't she bring one in at random and I will see if I can have a guess off the nose which one it might be. Ready? Okay. I stick my finger in my ear so I can't hear anything of where she might pick it up from. And I, this is going to be impossible unless she gives me one of the ones that stands out. Let's see. Ooh, a little bit of, a bit of the bacon about it. It's, um, I'm not getting any of the menthol, which we've picked up in other ones. Oh, now I am getting it though. I'm going to guess that might be oh, more grass than chocolate. Oh, that's probably the peak of my guessing for today. More grass than chocolate. Um, and why don't you have a nose? Because there is a kind of, um, sometimes the menthol thing is just the the coolness of the ABV. Of eucalyptus. Yeah, it's like eucalyptus. Now, I've put three drops of water in, but I don't want to add a lot of water to the glass, so we're going to do the thing of taking a sip and then taking very a sip. Very barley. My food going on there. Very barley. Very over dry. Yeah, dry. It's like green hay bales. And now I have that note on others as well. Okay, let me have a sip. Mmm. Oh. Oh, here we go. That's quite fruity on the arrival, though. That taste is better than the nose suggests, which is always a good thing. I like that upward curve. Grassy honey, though. Coming in. What else? What did you get? So in, to get on. We're only one sip in. <laughs> oh, it's a get on more, uh, on more smoky. It's not mindy. 
it's quite it's quite bright and punchy this one isn't it and almost like a little bit of orange rind on there yeah okay I think I'm definitely bright on my face we won't go to the shelf yet but I think we're pretty much all top shelf for these okay are we ready to introduce the second one okay let me uh it's gonna get harder isn't it hmm hi Samuel cast how are you doing okay number two come on give me something uh my confidence is high now so you know you know how that goes what's this going to be oh Hmm. Um, hmm. A little deeper, richer. Still got the grassy hay. I was almost going bacon, but I'm going to go menthol cookie chips. Yes. <laughs> okay. I wouldn't say any more. So why don't you have a nose? There is a bit of chocolate syrup on that, which is why the cookie chips thing came in. But it's almost like the menthol is overcoming the chocolate. The first one is more flavors. Oh, yeah. It seems more smoky and... Right. Oh, water. Don't you want to go water first? <laughs> Not that I have to save deeper from, uh, you know, potentially very high ABV, but... <laughs> Hmm. It's more Monday, it's sweeter. And maybe it's slightly more bitter than the first one. Sweeter and bitter? Yeah, because... How can it be sweeter and bitter? Okay, and maybe it's oh, a foodie. No, I see what you mean. But it's a, it's a foodie. It's kind of a sort of you're chewing on some sticks. Stick. Or yes, very, very yes. dry grass stalks. That's so on the finish. So maybe the onion, the onion, the stick. Actually, I, I, I totally understand what you mean now, because first contact, it was like, no, it, this is sweet, but it very quickly dips mm -hmm. off. And then it goes into this almost rye yeah. spice. Right. Yeah. Mm. That, is, that is pretty shock. Compared to the first part, the first part, the first part, the first part. Uh, another sip. So I'll put the other side. Okay. Do, uh, so, uh, Hang on. Prefer... Which one do you prefer? I prefer the. Okay. Let me have another look. Um, this one. Okay. Hmm. I think. I prefer the the longer, smoother thing of more grass than chocolate. I'm going to say this is better than this. Hang on. Which way round did I say? I'm thinking from your side. Which ones do you want to be the best? This is better. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. <clears throat> Hang on, I need to prepare. <laughs> we'll try and go as fast as we can to get through them quickly and we'll get to a reveal. I should shut up and get on with it. Okay, uh, can't hear anything. I guess it doesn't matter, it's over the other end of the table. Okay. Distinctive, this has got to be bright barley bacon, surely. Is it? What do you say? I said this has got to be bright barley bacon. It's distinctive. Oh. I think I know what I latched on to. It's not bright barley bacon. This is tulip candy hay bales. And this is green grass all day long, isn't it? Sweet menthol grass. I'm getting very thin, vanilla, flour, and more of flour, okay, vanilla. More flowers than vanilla. Mm. A bit of chocolate. A bit of... 
I'm all that bubble gum. Yeah, tulip candy because it's bubble gum that's been made in flower flavors. Does that make sense? Sort of syrupy, almost. Um, and then we stack in medicine. Have a sip. Have you tasted? Have you tasted it yet? Yeah, this is the one. It's quite a strange one. It's, it's very different from the other. Mm. It's more of a new milk. Medicine. I got this I the medicine. Yeah. It's got this funny flowery candy bubble gum, which then it turns into a medicine syrup. Mm, yes. And but that, quite, that's why I thought of the uh, new milk. It's quite spicy and it's um it's it is unexpected. <laughs> it is unexpected. <clears throat> uh, I prefer just uh, you know I, I prefer more I like it. But it's just a bit weird. I'm gonna push it away a little bit. But it's just good. Um okay. no. Mm. Right, give me another one. I guess I don't need to stick my finger in my ear anymore. Where are we going now? I can't even remember which ones we got out there. Right. Bright barley bacon. Oh, got it wrong again. What did he say? Bright barley bacon. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> this one is quite a bit richer. This one that we called golden barley cola. Oh. Yeah, I realise I'm down to random now, aren't I? 50 50. Golden barley cola. This has got a little bit of bubble gum about it, and it was you who said the cola. A chocolate dust. Bit of chocolate dust, but this is definitely deeper and richer on the nose. And my expectation is that this should be better. But let's see if it lives up to it. Mmm. <laughs> yes. It's it. It's like um, barley that's really been fully um, matured in the lovely in, sunshine uh, of Campbelltown. Full volume. Full volume, yeah. Of everything I oh, that go with this one we brew. With all the flavour around me. There's a little smoky mint finish to it. I'm getting a bit of a grassy, slightly of the fire scent. Mmm. All right, I know this is probably overload already. Let's go a little faster. Uh, that's me. Okay, come on, let's get another one. I was feeling so good after those first two. I guess if I keep saying bright barley bacon, I'll get there in the end. Bright barley bacon. <laughs> yes, <laughs> bright barley bacon. <laughs> Finally. Why don't you have a nose? If you haven't guessed by now, if one's called bacon and one's called grass, they sound very opposite flavours but they're um, or aromas, but they're really all quite close, as a lot of whiskies are. It's very faint. I can't believe all of them. Oh, it's faint? Uh, getting more of a cereal battery, of course, or cereal <laughs> battery. <laughs> But I'm not getting any other flavour. Have a sip. Oh, a, a vanilla coming through. Yeah. I was going to say that. It's like dry grass and vanilla. And um, even though I don't think that bacon is from peat smoke, there is something in there that is giving it this bacon beef jerky kind of barbecue I tone to it. I think it's the most uh, diluted of all. Mm. But the most softer. Softer. Well, that's a hint, possibly. But it's beautiful. It's very savoury, very grassy. Mm. Again, more of the dry grass hay bales and but the, and honey. I, I, but I'm more moist. So that the previous, the previous one was very hard. So I'm more moist. So. It's definitely better than this one. Um, where's the bottle? Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Um, 
I wanted to compare it. I wanted to compare it to more grass than chocolate. Let's circle back. Mmm. Mmm. It's better. Oh, is it? Mm. It's very, very sweet. Wait. Wait for the. Uh, oh, it's my start. Wait for the finish. I found the finish like it goes very bitey, mm -hmm. and this is softer. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Moving up. Somewhere in there. Oh. Two more to go. Hold tight. Then we'll get a reveal. Ready. Now it should be easier to guess now if I concentrate. There's only two left. So it's got to be either mackerel malt or the grass toothpaste, doesn't it? Oh, I was expecting more fishiness, but I'm going to go with um, mackerel malt. Yes, okay. Dusty mackerel malt. It is um, it reminded me slightly of Ardmore. Mm. Dirty. Not peaty, but there is a dirty, slightly fishy thing to the but maltiness. Not, but not very of, of very no. subtle. A little bit of a little bit of mackerel somewhere in the background on this one. But it's also um yeah, a lot of vanilla as well. I see. So far, I am no complaint. It's fantastic. Oh yeah, that's good. It's a good on. I find this not that sweet and not that savory. This is one that we said was much more integrated mm -hmm. throughout, whereas the other ones had a bit more steps and stages. The first contact with this was it was like deep and rich, but then there was sort of a mingling Very spiciness. Confident. Oh. oh, yeah, I, I stand. God, for the, that's I fantastic. I mean, there is a spice that rises. I'm thinking a bit of bacon. A little bit of bacon, Lime. okay. See, I'm getting the menthol, the little spicy bit, the malt, but it's all like swirling. That is fantastic. Oh, I'm also getting a sort of a sour <sighs> at the bottom. Forget it's all spoiled. <laughs> Last one. I feel very spoiled and very indent. We did take more time with it in the previous days. Oh yeah, we never so much opportunity. Last one, grassy toothpaste. It's the only one that's left. Um, this was one that, well, just okay. Wow, they don't. It doesn't stand out as being nearly as different as I thought it would. Okay, now it goes more fishy after coming off this one. So this barley is not the sort of golden, warm, toasted barley. It's more like a hay bale that's still green. Musty. Or alfalfa. The band. Band, band. It's like being in a, a barn where the atmosphere is dust is mentholated or eucalyptus dust. If, if anything, that's the most farmy of all of them. Okay, you have a taste. Um, it's pretty bright, uh, not as heavy. Oh, maybe there's no sherry in it. Um, oh, I often, it's beautiful. Bit of shortbread. It's actually much simpler than the previous. There's not much going on, but it's beautifully mellow, mm. thick, creamy. Much more herbal and a bit, a bit more challenging flavor wise. Oh, meaning it's more dry towards the sour herbal side and less of the sweet honey. But the integration of it mm. is fantastic. But, but the, it's fantastic, it's very, very, oh, I think it's, it's actually quite shorter. But it's, it's beautiful. But, but this is long as well. There's but a, not, 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 
the previous one. There's a little toasted puff of smoke on the back end of it, maybe. I got a little bit of sort of that Parma Violet um, thing as well. It's a little weird in a good way. <laughs> this one was weird in a no, too weird way. I'm getting a sand in the guy. Eucalyptus, yeah. But very thin, it's beautifully integrated. Mm. And yeah, I'm getting high. I'm, <laughs> I'm going, I'm going gold trophy on this one. Oh, where's the butter? What are you doing? Yeah. Do you prefer, do you prefer that to third? But again, I thought we get the first bit. It's fantastic. Oh. Yesterday, uh, this my favorite but now. <laughs> I'm surprised. Okay. We're, because you really like the grassy one. So, you, okay. So we're going to move this one down then. Ooh, they are also so good. I'll probably give this like a place. It's more sparkly, more alive. Oh, you're moving away from grassiness today? Because this one is more predictable. I think that's more mainstream uh, oh. flavors. A little softer, actually. Nicely integrated as well. It's, it's draggy, but crispy, a bit aggressive. Oh, those are both excellent. Let's just slide along here a little bit. Uh, I, I, like, I, I like both because it is <coughs> mellow. Creamy. I'm, I think it's a crisp and a fresh. Okay, I'm going. I'm going silver on uh, tulip. No grass toothpaste. <sighs> because is it a bit aggressive? <laughs> right. Is uh, it a bit mean? A bit mean. <laughs> I think he's. Wait, I thought you were going silver on this one. I uh, thought, well, but I think you know if it's a bit mean. Right. Um, did that make any sense at all? Here is the summary. If that is any use whatsoever. <laughs> I'll have a quick look at the, uh, at the chat. I'm sure everyone's having their own discussion right now. Oh, James, you're sipping the local barley 10 along and trying to pick which one of yours matches. Still hard. Yeah, which one do you think it is, James? Uh, James has the new, the Optic local barley with a bit of 3% port. I didn't, it didn't uh, jump out, did it? Yeah. Right. I think it's time we reveal something. Don't you think? We're going to go in reverse order. Okay. And before we reveal, we're going to make some guesses. Do you think it's Brook Laddie or oh, Springbank? I my paper. It's, it's off the camera now. <laughs> oh, Deepa's forgotten her cheat notes. This is... This is supposed to be, you know, spontaneous, Deepa. What's that? Homework. I'm going Brook Laddie on this one. Because... What, what have you oh. gone? What have you picked? Brookladdy bear. Yes, Can I you? think it is as well. I'm going Brookladdy bear barley because. Can you see them? Just about. We have tasted bear barley before when we did an Isle of Barley shootout, and I remember this one being the standout weird one. Have you tried this before? Once. Yeah. And, and I remember I didn't like it that much. It was a bit aggressive. Okay. <laughs> Have I missed anything? Um, yeah, it's a bit funny. It's very green hay. Yeah, but it's not integrated. It's a bit short. I think they can... Okay, ready? Ready for the reveal. What do you guys think? It is... Ho -ho! What, what is it? We Hang on. Tried. Hang on. My tape is covered up. Yes! Wow! It is the Brook Laddie Bear Barley. Did I say beer earlier? Beer Bear. 
somewhere I'm in between. Because a bear is ardent, is a native. I would prefer to support it more. Well, we've still got a bear barley in the lineup somewhere. We don't have a whole bottle. This was a share from Luis. So we have a fake. We have a fake can. <laughs> um, if you want, if you want a whiskey in a lineup, which is going to turn people's heads and kind of be like, what is that? This is like the opposite of a sherry bomb. Um, but it's a no sherry. It, I'm saying it's the opposite oh. of a sherry bomb. This is 100% bourbon, eight years old, and a barley type, which is grass, tulips, and hay bales, but also medicinal syrup. It doesn't feel integrated. Yeah, it's about a medicine, as you know, no part. It's a bit that's down the bottom. I'm eating three years old. Oh, it's three years Oh. Eight years old. Okay. One down. Let's see. That is tulip candy hay bales, candied green hay bales, and unexpected medicine. Right. Hang on. We deserve some fireworks. <laughs> right then. On to number two. Are we ready for number two? Oh, now we're getting tricky. Uh, let's have another taste. More grass than chocolate. I've got three possibilities. Oh, like, no. I said to Deepa, eliminate all possibilities before we go live. Taste it. Be sure. Don't be guessing at the reveal. I think I, think I might change my mind. <laughs> I think... I think, I think that's spring break. I think, what do I think? Oh no, where's my cheat notes? Of yours. I think this one is, what did I think? More grass than chocolate. What is yours? Hang on, I'm 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 struggling. <laughs> I'm going for Belgravia ten year. Ten year Belgravia. What what is yours? What are you going for? Oh um I have Barry. Oh. Oh But I can be for I am um, it's difficult because... Right. So Deepa thinks it's Isla Barley from Brookladdy and I think it is the 10-year-old Springbank. I'm fine because of all. I'm not getting the farmy flavour apart from the... More grass than chocolate is... What is it? Uban. Oh! It is the Springbank. So hang on. I did say Springbank, so I, I get... No. Okay, I get nothing. No. But it's bare, and it's also bare. So, oh, the two bare barleys oh, we've sad. pushed to the bottom. I feel very, very bad, because they're both a native. So, I can tell you, I, in my mind, grassy, I, I, I thought, grassy toothpaste, I thought, was bare barley. Me. That's what I thought. But... Oh, no. Time to... Time to reconsider. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I have many, many, I many, I many different options. <laughs> so this one has gone. <laughs> right. Bright barley bacon. I'm 100% confident on this one. Oh. I'm at the point of support. Do, do you know what you're going to guess? Oh. Nine. Okay. Deepa saying Springbank Optic. I am saying Isla Barley. I'm saying Isla oh. Barley. Okay, why don't you, I, th I think you're right. Why don't you reveal? The reason why is not so much all the other flavours, but I thought I was picking up that tiny lactate Brookladdy thing. Oh, you're right. Hey! Oh, so fuck for you. 
Fireworks for me. Fantastic, yeah. I see this time it felt up and effort. Nine. We didn't. We didn't show the spring bank. I forgot. So the 2007 Isla Barley. Can you stop performing up there? What the The Isla Barley, just to compare, a seventy dollar whiskey versus a hundred and eighty dollar whiskey. Wow. I'm going back to the bear barley now. More grass, but I think you know our description for. Um, the eleven-year bear barley, more grass than chocolate, I think is fair. Oh yeah, oh yes. Because, but I missed this. We got it all today. That now I'm a sucker. It's very old sucker. So that I missed this. But I think I'm very old in sucker. Yeah. Hmm. Right. Next up. <laughs> Uh, menthol cookie chips. Let's go to the chat for a second. I see Stingray is saying, wow, that 11 year spring bank was something I found really stunning. Have you had the Isla Barley 2007, Stingray? <laughs> Deeper stolen my cheat notes, Luna, yeah. And Stingray is saying he's finding it hard to find the local barley in there. Oh, the local barley nine. Stingray, where are you? I have, in my mind, suddenly I popped up South Africa, maybe. Um, is that right? Okay. If everyone objects to our place, oh, hang on. The, so the 16 is still in at least. The 16 hasn't been eliminated yet. Um, next up then, menthol I'm cookie chips. A certain order. Uh, yeah. This. No. Menthol cookie chips. Oh, that is quite syrupy now. It is a sucky, sucky. Mm. Of course. What could that be? Menthol cookie chips. I thought that one. It's very deep, mud. So we know it's a spring bank, right? So we get. <laughs> so we don't need to put spring bank anymore. These are all spring banks. Mm -hmm. um, I am I'm going. going to get apple and split back. So I'm no, over. you don't need to. They're all spring banks. Yeah, but you don't need to name it. Yeah, but I'm going for nine from you to you. Oh, you're saying it's a nine-year-old. Yeah, because I see. I, 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 move over. I think it is. I'm I'm hedging my bets, and I'm going ten year old because oh. there's, because there's two of them, and I think it. I'm going to guess it is the. Hang on, which which one is the ten? Prisma, optic, Belgravia. Oh, hang on, I've lost my Belgravia tag. I think it is. I think it is the Belgravia. I don't have a Belgravia tag. Somewhere, somewhere I've lost it. I see. I'm moving over Belgravia. So, chocolatey, syrupy, and lovely. What's it going to be? What's your guess? Oh, um. Yours is the nine year nine. optic. Mine is the 10 year Belgravia. No, you're supposed to reveal. You reveal. Oh. Here we go. It is. Damn it, you're right. Deeper, you're supposed to reveal to our audience. Oh, not, not just to yourself and then be annoyed. It is the 10 year bye, bye, Belgravia. Bye, bye. Well, I just thought um, it's deeper and richer. And we have tried the local barley nine before. Yes. And I thought, I don't think that's it. So it was more kind of elimination. Um, Belgravia. I mean, uh, uh, it's, nine. Oh, it's deeper, richer. It's also the one which is 30% sherry. 30. Yeah. 
And nine east from the prosthetics. Oh, you know what we've got left? I have just realised we have got the two optics and the 16 left in this top three. I just realised. Close your eyes for a minute. I forgot to pour something for deeper earlier. So it's going to be... It's okay. It's been in the, the bottle for a while. This is Springbank Local Barley 9, which has been mixed with about 20% of the Sauterne cask, 11 year. It's something I did by mistake, but we thought it was better than the nine year. I got the for nine years. <laughs> Deepa picked up a few things in hearing. <laughs> Have a sip on that and just tell me where you think it ranks in the middle of um, this reveal. Yum, 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 yum. Is it, is it better than what we've had so oh, far? Yeah. Okay, uh, right. Forget that. Now, we have got <laughs> two of these are optic, and one of them is not optic. Uh, but is that one? The sixteen-year-old. Oh, bless my. And if I had to guess, this has got to be the sixteen because it's the one that is grassy, and the other two. I think I'm more multi, don't you think? Right. Um, let's do. A, don't worry about it. Let's. I'm going to do another taste. Final reordering. If if you want to try and reorder. Just think. You've got two optics, one prism. Hmm. Oh, pressure's on now. Oh, it's fat ass. Sweet it's arrival. Smoky, yummy. Smoky. Uh, the, the body, the body is giving me, it's a bit different. Yeah. I, I prefer that one more. Just okay. Because that more easy. Concentrate it's on this more one. More complex, more difficult. Quite a push of spice. Long finish. A little it's, dirty. It's, it's more as I say, I've already signed. All right. It's, Moving on to grass smoked oh. toothpaste. Actually, yeah, I'm going to uphold my theory. I'm going to go for dusty mackerel malt. Oh, that's spectacular. I have both of them. I probably give them more of this one. I think there's a gap. God, it is slightly bitter. It's slightly to serve <laughs> It's not too integrated. Which one is not integrated? This one? Yeah, I'm going to with this. I think this one is a gap above this. For me, it's a sad gap. Grass smoked toothpaste. I've still got this one way out in front. So... Oh, yeah, I do prefer it more. Okay. Yeah. But that, uh, you've, you've given it gold as well. Barley Cola, are you ready to commit? I am going... I am going optic. What's that? Put it back. Yeah, we know that already. Oh, okay. <laughs> I am going... 10-year optic with the port. Oh, are you? We're both going for the same thing. Do you think there's a bit of port that could be in there that's adding to that sort of um, depth and richness? I mean, is, let me try again. It's very, I have very fresh. Before I reveal, I would say these two, I think, are gapped oh, higher but, but it's than mucky. these two. Ooh, Golden Barley Cola is... Oh, it's fantastic. Oh! Yes! <laughs> Double fireworks. Double fireworks. It is the 10-year cola. It's fantastic. It's worth it. Oh, you want double fireworks? Can I do double fireworks? Hang on. Do I have to wait till they go? I think I have to wait. I think I have to wait for them to go away mm -hmm. before we can have fireworks again. 
So we are down to. That's my favorite. It's time I've, I've... to go to the chat. Right. How are we doing? Okay, chat people. Let's see. Um, Samuel Cast, I'm going to jump in here. I'm going to open my Springbank Local Barley 9 now. Oh, you need to give it a few months oh, of air. Oh, that is so good. So, um, let's see. Pete said, I like the Brook Laddie Bear Barley and find myself to like it more and more. I have to say, to my own surprise. Yeah, I can understand that. On the other hand, I've not had one of this Springbank. Oh, organics. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm looking for the next orange. If anybody wants to say anything, quickly uh, do it now and do the at whiskey mystery to get the attention. Stingray, I found the nine-year-old to be quite a bit more funky so and peaty than no, the eleven. Eleven. The eleven is. Eleven. Yes, I would agree with that, Stingray. It has a bit more funky peaty about it. Um, False graph. You make it pretty captivating now. Great dramaturgy. <laughs> dramaturgy. Like a uh, drama. Drama. Yes, okay. <laughs> okay, people are entertained, hopefully. Because uh, we are we are 50 minutes in, so I hope you are entertained. Um, oops. Uh, let's see. Skipping down. I see another orange. Donna Pass Whiskey. Nice to see the 16 made the top two. Yes. I mean, three other dollars. Is it three hundred dollars? We'll talk about price after. You've got some dusty something on your nose, right? Okay, whiskey Jason, how are you doing, whiskey Jason? Um, let's see, prime whiskey. How you doing, prime? What is the best spot in my mind? Whenever I see prime whiskey, my mind immediately flashes to the Ardbeg Cafe where we met and we tasted the Trayvon. Uh, right, wow. Greg's Whiskey Guide. Well done. Greg, you're the only person in this chat, I'm sure, who's tasted local barley 1966. Hopefully you've mentioned that earlier up. Right. Uh, James, happily guessed correct a while back that the new 10 was the cola pick from your notes. Ah, fantastic. So notes. It is. It's the 10. Up to nine. Top three. I was the opposite. Let's see, Greg. Oh, Greg's going to... to... My giving me stuff about fireworks. Right. Seems... Yeah, there you go, James. You have some fireworks. <laughs> right. Um, I'm going to... Uh, I'm... Yeah, that was my... <clears throat> but then, I guess... Yeah. We're going to go through final notes on these two. And everyone make your guesses. One is the nine. One is the 16. And so we will call it first place, second place, right? So write down first place nine or first place 16. <laughs> well, hang on. Let's check one more time. <clears throat> Are we happy with the position before the final reveal? Okay. Now go on, you try yours, then we'll swap. Oh, Greg, let me, uh, let me free up your link, whatever that was. <clears throat> oh, this is an unbelievable whiskey. We have bought a Springbank 21 year old from DM Liquor, which has this similar menthol integrated herbal complexity but, no metal. but this one is amped up the power is really there but the, the power because the abv is 50 something <clears throat> the one we have is 49.7 so the integration between the malt the honey sweetness and that menthol and complexity i don't think i've had this before this but I'm it's so I thought oh finish it's pretty good. Mm. But I'm not able to separate the flavors. It's the pretty 
I, do, I mean, more water. Mine. Um, it's got to be the 16. Because that tastes... Sorry. This tastes younger when I went back to back to it. It's good. Excellent, obviously. It's got to be, for me. Ah, it's a beast to see. No pie. Because it's creamy. Creamy, thick. And very integrated. Integrated. It's very smooth. Before we get there, let's just say... I had these older. Older, yeah. The difference between these two bottles price-wise is ridiculous now. We'll talk about it after. Mystery malt. Oh, what is that? I think it's very, very bright. It's very unapparable. It's bright. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to put it in the middle. Mm. This is, is local barley nine mixed with sauterne. Oh! I'm, I'm, I'm impressed so, with you. So turn. Wow. My accidental blend. I'm impressed with you. <sighs> right. To the chat. Oh, uh, the chat's been on all that time. Okay, back to the chat. Oh, Pusky says it there. Pusky. Let, me, place to see. let me go back up. Right, here we go. Um, Greg, let's see. Watch my latest video. I quickly speak of it. And there's more on my website. Oh, great. Everyone go and have a look at Greg's. Uh, recent video, he'll talk about the Springbank Local Barley, 1966. All oh, my speech is being affected. <clears throat> James, I was torn, but it has that juiciness I pondered came from the port. Yes. Oh, for, um... Which one has the port? Um, the port is 3% Luna, so it's almost nothing, right? The 3% is I, in. I remember, but that push back is that. Um, it is... <laughs> No, it is this. No, that's. Wait, hang on. Oh yeah, it's this one. It's the cola. It's the cola. Um, the one with the port is the most recent release of the ten year. In America, it still hasn't arrived. We had to get it from Europe. I'm hoping with Springbank. Okay, I've talked enough, right? Let's get to it quick. Uh, jumping down. Let's see. James, I was torn. Oh, no, we've done that. Right. Whiskey Jason, first place is the 16, and Patrice is saying first is the 9. <laughs> Lucky, I hope the 9 wins, just because I don't have the 16. Yeah. Of course. Let's see. First place is the 9 for Zelenir. Uh, heels, please. Good. Go I was going to say good try. I was like, good idea. Hmm. Let me think about that. Right, first place nine is coming from Samuel. Luna, first place nine would be great. Samuel Cast is going 16 in first place. Let me try again. <clears throat> okay, you keep drinking. Uh, <laughs> let's see. No harm done with the nine in second place. It's a great spring bank. Yes, it certainly is. Right. Bruce is going first place for the 16. Donna Pass, love blending magic. When things can happen by accident, yes, of course they can. Could you switch out the chart? You have oh, thank you, false graph. <laughs> Getting excited. Here we go. <clears throat> yeah, I'd left the graphic up <clears throat> when I was talking to Luna. Okay. In my opening, I am sure the in nine. Yeah. Because it's very yeah, it's sparkly, new. This part is old. <laughs> if you dusty mackerel malt, <clears throat> I'm choking up. <clears throat> oh, it was supposed to be this. No, <laughs> we will know what that is. Are you ready? Ready. Bear in mind. We paid $335 oh. for this, and I think it's better than the $330 I'm we paid for the other spring bank. It's beyond shelf. Now, you can't buy it for $335 oh, anymore. Oh, no, buy not. Unless it is the nine. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> no! 
We have just put I'm a, I'm a the top. nine. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's. I can tell I am red. The 16 year old Prisma. In second place. Does that mean I would say we got it wrong? But it's a win because we, 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 only, we only have one bottle of the optic. Oh no! I mean, of the 16. Oh, but we have more than one <laughs> bottle of the <laughs> Fine, fine. No, no, no. Oh. Wow, I, I, I really, really suck. Dusty mackerel malt. So hang on. Around 170. No, it's way north of that now. So it's I can, I can tell you, I've had a Springbank 16 bookmarked at $500 waiting for this. <laughs> and if it was top, I was going to order. Let's taste again. I'm in I'm in it, we got. <laughs> Let's taste again. So the primary difference is, if we jump into our um into our names, the primary difference is between the 16, which is dusty mackerel malt. Sorry. Start again. The 16 is grass smoked toothpaste. This is much more towards the grassy bear barley, I was thinking. And Dusty Mackerel Malt, which is the nine year, is the one which has a little bit of the fishy smoke and vanilla. And I think um, that's what Stingray said. Or was it Stingray? Maybe it was someone else. I honestly thought that this was the bear barley. I thought this was the 11 year bear barley and I thought this was the 16. But for me, if it, if it, if it's really gonna be all nine badly, but I, that's my gut for this. So I moved down. I mean, don't get me wrong. That's a spectacular whiskey as well. But maybe it's very uh, I don't use the word smooth, but it's very smooth. It's very integrated. It's by a uh, heavy. Well, what can I say? If you can find the nine year on the shelf, they're still around. There is a very um, fresh alive. This comes back again to us. What are what are the facts again on the nine? I mean, I, I have both. The nine year is eighty percent and twenty sherry. The sixteen is eighty and twenty sherry. The only difference is the barley and the price. The ABV is higher on the nine, of course. Uh, but uh, AD, uh, Bundy, the Antarctica. Yeah, but there is a bit more smoke in the nine. Now, I've heard other people, I think uh, uh, Dustin, D.S. Silve, I don't know if you're in Dustin. Dustin. Dustin has said he much preferred the 10 year to the nine. And that would be, that would be this 10 year to the nine. Is it possible there's a little bit of familiarity playing into our decision that the nine is the one that we have tasted on and off? Now, it's still in our blind tasting, but we have tasted this on and off because we actually put it in other tastings. It's a fantastic as well. Look, which ones are bad? It is so good. This is It is more savoury than the nine. It's more comeback, but it's a fantastic. So I guess the one we liked the least was the bear barley. Let's go back. It's the one that's 100% bourbon. So the, the flavors are a little bit more simple. And so com compared to the interest up here, it, it did less well. 
If you see a bear, uh, if you see a local barley on the shelf anywhere at normal retail price, I would say get one. Any local barley, get one. It's high ABV. Open it. Give it a lot of air. You know, pour it into half a bottle. Let the air dissipate. All right, hang on. We got some questions coming in. This is good. Let's see. What are people thinking? Um, <laughs> Luna is saying, what a great husband. Oh, no, you, no. That's in the app yesterday. He told me, do not drink. <laughs> yeah, I said, don't drink it all before the video so starts. So painful. Okay. False graph. Oh, yeah, we did that. Right. Jumping down to the other orange markers. Confirms your preference for younger whiskey, mm. Donna Pass. You're right. That's what I was going towards. Uh, Luna, you lucky bee having so much Springbank nine year. Yes, you know how much we have lurking downstairs. Um, I just realized we put the blend behind the nine year today. But, but oh yeah, I, 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 it's better. It's better. No, but you said but you said the unblended nine year was better. Oh, ah, you know what? Up until today, Deepa had this in first place. Yes, what, I did. I did that through. What changed your mind? I don't know. There was something more sparkly. There was very alive. Ah, gave you more on this. Yeah, help yourself. Have as much whiskey as you like, wifey. <laughs> right, Luna? Right. Matthias, wow, wow. Uh, wow, now I only had Springbank 10, never a local barley. However, I can imagine that local barley is about the distillate and therefore is much more exciting when when drunk young. Well, also much higher ABV. Let's see. Greg's Whiskey Guide. It happens sometimes. For instance, prefer 10 times my 8-year-old cask strength heavily peated PX finish, Glen Murray. To the 25 year old there you go okay jason fisk wonder if i can trade a nine no, year for a 16 year <laughs> i'll trade your sample where are you jason send me an email whiskey at captain 3d.com anyone can send me an email if you're interested let me know false graph would you say the bare barleys are significantly less good than the others I don't know if they're less good. Getting hot in here. I would say they're more different. The it's a stick of base in your make. So basically, I've made it worse. Because it is so, uh, very uh, happy, very uh, very fresh. Let me be clear. Deeper saying that is my blending efforts have made it worse. <laughs> but uh, false graph is saying, would we say that the bare barley's are significantly worse? I was just saying that they're different. What do you think? Which one thing is it to do? Speak. No, I need you to fight. No. I have you to fight. I think we've crossed that line, haven't we? Where more drinking is the only answer. Okay. That is very, um, very, very grassy. The savoring is grassy. very sweet. Uh, it's very easy for the pain to go for sucker. So, sweet. Pulled you towards the sugar, do you say? I'm not a no complaint about it. It's fantastic, a savoury bit. Okay. Now, typically, you actually prefer the savoury, which is why you had this in first place. That's true. In all of our, you know, pre-tastings. Deepa had said this was better. I had said this was better. That's true. That's true. Okay. Uh, Greg, it might be interesting to see a bare barley matured whiskey, but with a light but clear port finish. Ooh, how about that? Yeah, maybe. That is one grassy barley. <laughs> James, hard to not keep pouring and drinking this LB10. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Let's see. Uh, how far is the beloved Isla barley from the local barleys in general? Oh, you mean but uh, no. beloved? Well, we have uh, bright barley bacon. How close is it? I mean, this one. How close is it? If we just go to the next one up. Mm. Tastes a bit like an old friend, especially now I know what it is. Okay. 
the gap is quite a step up. Um, Why? The complexity, the extra mental, the curiosity factor of this is much higher. This is more understandable and direct. Now, considering this is a $70 whiskey and this is a $170 whiskey. I think that I'm a... Oh, I think you didn't even, I'm, I'm sorry, but I think it's very, very good. Okay. And as that... Uh, it's very, I, I, it's very spot. It's almost uh, fermented, but not, but not in this, but in the food. Okay. okay. You have to give me some time if you want me to, to <laughs> catch up. I think if you didn't catch all of the words, you certainly saw Deepa's enthusiasm. I think it's quite a step up. Would you pay seventy dollars for this or a hundred and seventy for this? Um, but it's too big up. Somebody up at seventy for the big up for money, boy. In a normal world, if this was seventy, I would think this is a hundred and twenty. That kind of gap. But you know what the curve is like. You know, once the curve starts to flatten, you have to spend a lot more to get slightly so better. To pay for that, they become more expensive. All right. Uh, let's see. Prime whiskey. All this local barley is beaten by far by the regular eighteen. And it's $160. Well, Prime, we have had the 18. It's 46% ABV. It wouldn't stand up to these, I don't no, think. It is so good. Well, for us, let's say that. If they were both watered down to 46%, the 18 probably has more complexity at that ABV. Maybe. But I think that he's 18, but you prefer that. He's 18, or you prefer No, he's talking about Springbank 18. I, I'm not eating. Okay, um, we are now one hour and ten minutes. Oh my god! Oh, oh, oops, I'm so sorry. No, don't apologize. I'm just saying. Let's let's catch up on the chat. Uh, James, uh, talking about the eighteen. Still too expensive now. They're all too expensive, aren't they? Now I've heard a lot of people. Uh, Jason Fisk, ten year Springbank is always awesome value. Well. Even that is now up in the $80, $90 for us in the US now with tariffs. But people have said that the current batch of the 10 has been very good. So um, that might be worth worth a go. Let's see, James, so far the Springbank Local Barley 10, recent one, yes, is the most expensive bottle I've purchased. Australian dollars, 225. Would you say it was worth it? Uh, let me know. Jumping down. False graph. Uh, let's see. Sweet and savory. Made me think that preferences are also subject to what you are momentarily interested in, not just what you like. And I would say that's true because I think you all know if you do a lineup like this, if you come off something sweet, something more savory can suddenly taste much more savory. Mm. And likewise, something can taste much more sweet. And I suspect that deeper in isolation, would still prefer the 16 because you would typically say this is much more my flavor preference no no and this is that, my flavor uh, was that, that moment but i know that yesterday our preference was different okay yesterday our preference was different so today you just liked it more on the day yeah i don't know why okay let's talk prices for a moment let me see if i can Bring up a web page. Where did I put that? Scotch whiskey auctions. Is it there? There it is. Right. This is last month's Scotch whiskey auction. Um, this is the most recent bottle, the most available. 130 pounds. Let me quickly run through a calculation. That's a 70 mil, uh, 700 mil bottle. So that's 7% to get it to the equivalent of a US bottle. You pay a 10% fee you pay a 25% tariff, and then you have an exchange rate of 1.35 at the moment. So this number of 130 comes in somewhere around $250. More, 280 <laughs> for US, USA, if you bought it at a 750 mil equivalent. So just take these numbers and double them, plus a bit. So buying is no longer valid from the auction to get them. Here's the nine year also coming in at 130, or should I say 
260 US dollars. Um, the 10 year old being a little older, the 07 version, this is the Belgravia. Now you're talking about something which is over $350 maybe? No, somewhere $330. The 11 year being even more back in time. Now you're talking about something over 400 US dollars from an auction and the 16 year old at 420 pounds means it's going to be well over $800. Now, yeah. I think uh, <laughs> those are obviously art prices. You might find a few places like Beverly Hills Whiskey Shop or a New York place which might still have a 16 in the glass cabinet and it might be five or six hundred dollars. Don't buy it. <laughs> Can I interrupt? Can I say that um, if you bought for the years today, I prefer 16 and you prefer nine. Yeah, have you forgotten the conversation we just had? <laughs> yeah. So confirm, but then no. I, I prefer 16. It's okay, they know. I've said it. Yeah. yeah. Nine for the win for us. Nine for the win for Deepa. I think it's time to say thanks for watching, everyone. This has been some kind of um, landmark in our whiskey journey two years in. Um, I think the Bear Barleys are not top 10 for me. That's because they're not very sugary, they're not very sweet. Because, I should point out the obvious, we have local bar, uh, Isla Barley here. It's, it's, it's the third place. But once we get to here, they're all, they're all pushing up. I'm going to jump to the chat for the last comments. Um, I'm just going to look at the orange labels. What have I missed? Let's see, McCallum Fine and Rare. The beginning. The good old law of diminishing returns. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Greg's Whiskey Guide. I had the chance to try a French market only Springbank 21 cask strength. Sauternes finish. Sautern. Sautern. That's better, isn't it, Greg? Greg Um It was a cracker, but around 345 euros. Yeah. You just can't go there, can you? Found the winner. Number nine at 185. Good price. Um... Let's see. James. Yes, absolutely worth it. It was a 40th birthday gift to myself. Lovely. I'd buy another one if I had the chance. And I would as well. Would I? <laughs> have to look at my uh, notes now. Right. Everyone's having a little chat. Uh, Zelnir. Looking at those prices, I guess I'll stick with the Brookladdy Bear Barley. Have you had the 2007 or the 2009 actually the 2011 Isla Barley is lovely as well uh, oh everyone's saying thanks let's see Stingray when I bought my line uh, local barley I knew the price is appreciated quite well I still drunk it because whiskey is for drinking yes it is exactly thanks for bringing all of this for us Greg is saying thanks Greg thanks Bishop Burnboy uh, Pulsegraph, fantastic stream, great entertainment, great whiskeys, mm -hmm. great everything. Thank you very much. Let's see, Stingray. Oh, yeah, talk to Greg. Right. How much did we actually pay what for is them, the eh? SO? But oh, it's the SO. It at the bottom. Probably Grey. Significant other? But it's SO. <laughs> I think. I can tell you that the cheapest local barley we have bought is the nine year. We bought it in New Zealand and we paid $107. Why did I not bring more back? Thanks all. We you are. Buy many more, but you buy any more. You wouldn't let me. There was no space. <laughs> there was no space. That's what it is. I can't believe we brought back Blantons instead of the local Barley Nines. <laughs> See you all next time. It will be uh, Thursday for something a little more sane. From Matthias, right? Right. Night all. Enjoy your long weekend in the US or anywhere else in the world. Are you going to put back? I'm going to put uh, them back. I cannot take it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm drinking the 16. 